Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Dustin and today I wanted to show you a cool little uh, toolbox organization project that I did um, a couple months ago at this point. I've always had a ton of sockets like anyone who works on cars or enjoys making things has. So uh, I've always had a problem with finding organization for sockets that really fit what I like. You can buy socket organization at stores online, but they always are either super expensive they're overly bulky for what they are. They don't have every size that you need. You can get something like socket rails, which are really cheap generally, and they're very, I guess, universal because there's no sizes. These came with the uh, Tecton um, sockets that I use. Um, and th these are nice, and these ones don't have the little dimple in them. They're like kind of a twist lock style. Problem with these is that I don't like having sockets on here. It kind of, it's small, it's unstable. You don't see what the label is, or you don't know what size they are unless you just know the size or you look at the socket themselves. And I like being able to just reach into my toolbox and just grab a socket with no force. These, if the socket is locked in place, you gotta push it, twist it, something like that. And I don't really like these or any of the ones on the market. Tecton ones are, are nice, of uh, a nice version of these, but I still don't like the design of these. And then you can get socket trays but you're kind of limited to what size the original designer designed them for. For example, my half-inch uh, drive sockets, I have these uh, Harbor Freight rails, and these work well because I guess the standard for sockets and socket trays for half-inch are they're pretty standard, so I've only got a couple sockets back here that aren't listed on here with size. These are nice. Like I said, you, you run into issues where you might have certain sizes that they don't have on here, especially when you get into uh, the standard sizes. Half inch ones, they're not as bad, but sometimes when you go into like a three eighths or quarter inch, you might have some weird sizes at the lower end that these trays don't have. And I really don't like having sockets that are not on the tray organized properly. So I decided to make my own. So up here is my three eighths and quarter inch uh, drawer. And you can see here, these are all laser cut. These are my three eighths drive sockets. I got uh, deep well and standard, all six point because six point is the way to go all the time. These are all Tecton sockets. I got these on Amazon if you want them. There's a link. I'll put a link in the description, um, affiliate link, all that good stuff. These are my quarter inch drive sockets. I'm just using the Harbor Freight ones because luckily on these, I don't have any that aren't represented on here. I don't have some of these ones, but that's fine. I'd rather have them blank than have extra ones laying around here. I wanted to make a custom sized socket organization tray that not only is custom fit to every socket, but also has the actual sizes labeled on there. So the way I made this is basically I went through and measured every single socket in order, the diameter. I basically made up this tray using all of the dimensions and then sizing it properly so every single socket has the same spacing between each one with increasing diameter and all that math and fun that you had to do. And then I did it for all of them. I, oddly enough, uh, I would I would have thought that since you know these are 16 millimeter 16 millimeter 16 millimeter something like that that these would be the same diameter but they're actually not the deep well sockets and the uh, regular short sockets are actually slightly different diameters in certain ones of these so I had to actually remeasure and make sure like this uh, 16 is a little bit loose compared to some of the other ones uh, purely because this this one I cut first before I went back and remeasured everything but it doesn't matter. So point being is these are very organized, very nice to look at. Um, I have the metric ones up front, there's more metric ones in this and I use metric a lot more. Um, and then I have a standard size ones back here. As you can see, they're all labeled. And so this is actually three layers. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. This is actually three separate layers of uh, just maple or birch wood um, that I laser cut. So the bottom layer is pretty much just the actual uh, overall shape is just cut out. There's there's no holes going through that. That's basically the bottom of this tray. The second layer has the labels on it and it has the individual holes for each one of these all the way through. And then this top layer is just glued on as kind of a stabilization. I originally only had two layers, but I noticed that the sockets kind of wobbled a little bit. Sometimes they'd fall over if I shut the door. So I added this third layer to kind of help stabilize the sockets a little bit. And you can see in there that it's a pretty deep and nice nice size hole to be able to stick it in there and fit. But if you got to go grab it, this comes right out. 
stick it right back in, you don't have a problem. And they don't really, you know, wobble too much. They do wobble, but they're not falling out wobbling, which is really all I want, especially if I go to shut this. These are soft closed drawers, so that helps. But I, I just really think this is like the most elegant solution I've been able to find. I, I really wanted to get a really nice quality organization for sockets and I couldn't find anything was not stupid expensive had every size known to man that's the one thing too the Harbor Freight I, I really did like these um, socket organi organizers you can get from Harbor Freight they're really nice the problem is is that the socket set that I have I go from six millimeter all the way up to 24 millimeter the Harbor Freight ones I think went from like 8 to 22 so I'd have two sockets on both ends that aren't on the tray and I don't like that this has every size that I have all on one tray. Best part is, although I don't do this, you can just grab this whole thing and take it with you, which is really cool. Of course, you don't want to tip it over or drop it because, you know, they are not secured, but I don't really do that in my, what I normally do. Pretty much everything stays in here. If I need to take sockets with me, I got toolboxes like that that's got sockets I can go somewhere with. But everything, you said, everything's all in here and ready to go, which is just the most... I love this. So, I made this on a laser cutter. I might have footage of me cutting this. I don't remember. If not, uh, if I do, I'll put it in here. If not, I am going to put the files for these on my website. There'll be a link in the description where you can go and uh, get this file. The sizes of these sockets are to my set. Like I said, these are Tecton sockets from Amazon. Your so uh, sockets might be a slightly different size. So, you might have to adjust the file um, per socket. But this should give you a good general, like, good way to go. Uh, but I will, uh, I'll put the files of how I made these in the description. And um, you can download them and laser cut them if you have them. If you have a laser cutter or have access to a laser cutter. And uh, I'm thinking about selling these. Uh, like, just making them up and selling them for people who don't have laser cutter. Um, I mean, it's just a couple pieces of wood and some glue. So, it really wouldn't take that long. I, uh, I think they're pretty cool. And they're, they're very, very useful. Um, and I tried to make it kind of compact. This one, I did the metric one first, so I could have shrunk it down a little bit. The uh, Imperial one I did make a little bit smaller, just because I, you know, learned. If you like this solution, and you like how I did this design, let me know in the comments. And if you have a better idea, or how do you organize your sockets, um, let me know in the uh, comments. And uh, I'm curious to know if you guys like ideas like this or if you have a different one that I've never even heard of not socket rails not to anything like that but I hope you enjoyed this video so until the next one I'll see y'all later